I guess to just kind of go over oh, what my. I've been up to before we mm-hmm. kind of wrap things up pretty yeah. soon. Um, I finished Yakuza Five, and hey. pe- people hey. seem to people seem to put it very highly on like their tier list or or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm giving myself a bit of a buffer before I go into six, just because those games are uh, they yeah. can blur together pretty easily. But I have to say, I don't. I don't think I liked five as much as, as other people put it out. Like it has a lot of charm, but the pacing, like even, even compared to four, cause four and five both use the, um, they, they split the chapter up, ch- chapters up by characters and you, you don't really touch the characters again until like the end of the game. It, just the pacing and the way they tell the story. It is so freaking slow. Like I, I lost mm. like so many, details on what the threads were and the new play- playable character shinada the uh the baseball dude like he's okay his fighting style is pretty bland but like like the whole like secret conspiracy behind like his little personal story like you get to the end of the game you're like what the fuck does that have to do with anything that that's like the a plot here and and so th- there's like a million betrayals as as per fucking yakuza tradition i i um that, that I just like absolutely love like in like in Kiwami 2 or I guess like t- uh, 2 proper there's like four backstabs betrayals like back to back and it's fucking beautiful with how stupid it is but I, I don't know F- 5 story didn't do it for me it has a bit of a refinement over 4 but I think 4 just basically did everything better than, than 5 and uh, I guess not, neither of you guys have played it I but, personally am, yeah. But I have a friend who is the biggest Yakuza fan, so. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't get into it. I, like, I, it, it's one of those things where I appreciate it, and I love that I have so many friends that are into it. it I just couldn't get into it. There, there is some wacky <laughs> shit to be had in uh, in 5 in particular. And, like, just the attention to detail with, like, all the super crazy uh, side stories for each character. Like, what was it? Uh, cure you you can go like on a six hour fucking tangent that has nothing to do with the main story where you're dismantling a freaking uh J- japanese fucking racing gang it's like fucking tokyo drift 2 you play as saijima and you go like on a six hour side quest of like you're playing fucking cabela in, in the fucking snowy mountains <laughs> and then you're doing a uh mlb the show knockoff as a shinada so like th- there's like crazy detail like mechanics into what they do like they obviously care what they're doing but just like the pacing of the game is like non-existent and the story just loses so many of its threads. It, it's probably one of my, I'd probably still put it over Yakuza 3, which has a bit of more of a rough start. Granted that, that it's like, oh, uh, Kiryu is basically retired. Go chill for like six hours. Mm-hmm. But but for me, that kind of personally worked because I'm like, come on, my man's been through a lot. Let, let him <laughs> fucking chill. So it worked for me, but five, uh, I'd say probably just, well, obviously, I'd say play all of them, but I'd say four is probably better in that regard. 